I better get out here and show you some things before it gets way too hot for me to be outside. So let's go and see what's going on. I got some elderberry seeds in the mail, so I planted them in here. And I need to come and make sure that they've got plenty of water. But let's hope that they come up. I'll have a whole bunch if a bunch of them germinate, but I didn't know how reputable the company I bought them from was. So I, they're itsy, 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 bitsy. So I just kind of strewed them around on, on here and we'll see what happens. Well, the little figs that were over on the, what I call the mound, they just didn't seem to be growing, but the, they were nicely alive. So I've repotted them because I figured during, come winter, I'll need to have them protected. This one right here is that one that I thought was dead. Remember, if you've watched any of my past videos. But anyway, I put two in each pot here. The other thing I wanted to show you is that my tomatoes finally have tomatoes on them. I don't know if you can see that little tomato, but let me come over here where there's some easier ones to see. Yeah, look at that. back there and over it's hard to point the camera at the right spot there's one in there there it is oh there's two there I didn't realize that very cool big one. It looks bigger on camera because I've got it zoomed in. But it's... Oh, I was going to show you. My first zinnia bloomed. Like in there. Isn't that pretty? A pretty zinnia. That's a beautiful color of kind of purpley pink. I like that. And then I'll walk over in here. I don't seem to have any calendulas blooming this morning, but I can see a bunch of buds there. Let me zoom that back out so we can see that better. There's a bunch of little buds on there, so I've been keeping them plucked off to save for drying so that I can make some oil and extract and stuff. But I've got more um, uh, let's see if I can like I said it's hard to get my camera to focus in on what I'm trying to show you. I don't know if I can see maybe if I made that a little bigger. There we go. Part of them there's some bigger ones down. Down, down, not that far down. Well, it feels like I'm pointing right at them, but I'm not seeing them on my viewfinder here. There, I think this is a Brad's Atomic. Anyway, I would say the majority of my tomato plants finally have tomatoes on them. Well, those calendulas are blooming. And some marigolds down here that are in bloom. And, you know, I think one of the two little mulberry plants that I got, I don't know if this one's going to make it or not. It's just, this leaf is crispy. Not totally, but pretty crispy. The other one looks fine. 
can see it right there. Yeah, that one looks fine. Oh, I bet that's tomato's aroma because of the way it's shaped. And I've got a, a, some peppers coming along over here. I'm not going to zoom in on them. You'll just have to take my word for it. And my Aunt Molly plant is looking good. It's got lots of ant. It's got lots of ground cherries on it. Waiting for... Waiting for... Um, to be able to tell what those are like. Even out here, these tomato plants have some tomatoes on them too. You can, I don't know if you can see them there. Yeah, there we go. Cucumber plants aren't growing very good. I don't know. I don't... S I think next year I'll plant them back where I had them last year. They weren't real good, but they did better than this year. The corn is coming along. Got some bean plants inside there, too. One stalk in the back is way taller than the rest of them. But corn around here is usually middle of it. Sometime in August is when it has corn. So hopefully my corn... Hopefully I get some corn off of this. We'll see. Okay. The zinnias out here by my water feature are growing nicely. They're getting tall. And they're going to be blooming before too long. They've got little buds at the top. That's going to be really pretty once they come in the bloom. I'm not going to show you the water in the tub because it's gross. We don't have the waterfall running and the water in the tub has gotten gross. I need to remember to tell my husband to come out and turn the pump on, get that water moving so that we don't raise a batch of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Well, there's a lot more stuff I could show you, but I got to thinking a lot of the stuff that I, I'm i looking at is the same stuff that I've shown you before. That, you know, would get kind of boring if you watch my videos to watch the same thing over and over and over. So I decided to stop. <laughs> I think what I showed you was kind of new. I was struggling with tomatoes. I mean, you know, lots of blooms and no tomatoes. But we're finally getting the tomatoes, so that's that's good. It, between me and the bees, I, I've i gone out and just, you know, vibrated the plants with my hand. But I know the bees help, too, because I don't always get out here to vibrate because it's been pretty hot in the daytime. And where the tomatoes, where most of the tomatoes are, it gets it gets sun the majority of the day well the majority of the yeah from about 10 or 11 o'clock to about four ish five ish 
it gets full sun. And then in the morning, the apple tree shades it for a while. And in the afternoon, the, the porch shades it for a while. But the majority of the day, it gets the full sun. Oh, out where I didn't take a picture of it, but out where my little bitsy group of beans are planted. There have been a few little beans on there, and I've planted them and eaten them. <laughs> I know they're the kind that you're supposed to just leave on, let them grow so they can, so you can have dried beans, but I couldn't resist. I had to eat them. They were really good. So I will try any future beans leaving them on there. I'm not going to guarantee that I'll be able to, <laughs> but I'll try. Some things I want to plant more of next year is the, the beans. I, I think I'd like to plant a whole row instead of a, just a little plot, a little spot. And already thinking about where I want to put my tomatoes for next year and how I want to arrange my garden. I do it a little different every year. They say you shouldn't put them in the same spot every year, so I try not to. My garden is so little that it's like I don't have a lot of choices. <laughs> And the one little area, one little plot closest to the porch, I've kind of got it with some perennials in there by now. And that's where I usually plant cabbages and stuff because it gets more shade than any of the rest of the garden. It's not as hot right there. Because by the time the afternoon sun is hottest, that area is starting to be shady. So, I don't know, it's really nice out here at the moment, but it's supposed to get near 90 today, and like tomorrow, is it tomorrow and the next day, or the, I don't know if it's Sunday and Monday or Monday and Tuesday, one or the other, it's supposed to be just right, uh, like 98, 99 degrees, it's just hot. My new echinacea plant that I but at the store, I showed you that, I believe it was yesterday. I planted it out where I wanted it. It looked really good. Toward evening, I went out and looked at it, and it was like all droopy, 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 droopy. So it was, when I went out to look at it was when I, I haven't been as faithful with fertilizing things as I, I should do it like, once a week or at least every 10 days and I'm more like a couple of weeks anyway so I I put some fertilizer on it fish fertilizer and um, liquid and then it got watered last night with a with this automatic sprinkling system so this morning it was looking okay it was looking fine what you doing honey so I'm going to let you go for today. Little strands of hair that just they tickle like crazy when they hit my face. <laughs> oh, dropped you off. Well, that was an interesting little ride, wasn't it? I dropped y'all. Turn it back around. There we go. <laughs> Hope you didn't get dizzy or sick to your stomach on that little tumble. <laughs> I don't know what at what process in that it, the camera actually turned off, but I think it did. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you what I can see from where I'm sitting of the of the clematis. Clematis. Some people say I don't know which way it's supposed to be pronounced. There it is, above, above the barbecue. Pretty purple. They almost look pink on the video, but they're kind of a maroon color. And sometimes, and I don't know if it'll grow taller, sometimes it goes clear up to the, up over the, the roof there. 
Well, I got two different what you doing, honeys, <laughs> from my husband on on this video, I think. My answer's been the same both times. I'm busy talking to you all. <laughs> so he wanted to know what I was talking to you about. I said, well, I was just showing you my tomatoes. I have tomatoes on most of my tomato plants now. They'll be ripe before too long. I don't know how long it takes, but at least I've got tomatoes on there now. And that's good. And I'm waiting for my cucumbers to do a little better. And well, I've got peppers too, and they'll, they'll let me know when they're ready for me to pick. Anyway, that's all I'm going to... I, I think I'm done recording for today unless something comes up that I wasn't aware of that I wanted to tell you all about. So if that does happen, I'll just make a separate video. For now, I'm just going to sit out here on the porch and enjoy the... I don't know, it's like almost 70 degrees. I think it's in the low 70s. And there's a little breeze blowing, which has a little coolness to it, but not, it's not cold. It just feels perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy my Saturday. Tomorrow we still get to go to church. They, our governor has pulled back a little bit on some things. We, we are mandated to wear masks everywhere, indoors. Well, not in our homes, of course, but any business or wherever in church, too. And social groups are back to 10 people, but churches have been exempt from that. And like our church, we follow so many guidelines. We have our temperature taken before we can come in, and we have to wear the mask. We have to stay six feet from other people. And everything in the church is sanitized before and after everybody's there. And I'm on worship team tomorrow, and we don't have to wear our masks while we're singing or playing our instrument. That part's good, because that would be a little hard to do. And... So I guess that's it for today. I'll go ahead and sign off here. May the good Lord richly bless you. I'll see you on my next video.